Hey guys, um, what I have here is the third of the six Costa Rican energy drinks I brought back. Now this isn't an energy drink, and I, uh, I didn't mean to deceive anybody as such, but uh, this is Smirnoff mixed uh, vodka plus sparkling orange. Um, now a couple things. I'm 18, so I don't drink here in the States. I can't legally, and I don't anyway, just because that's not the person I am. I don't really get anything from it, and to be quite honest with you, I don't like the taste of very many alcoholic beverages that I've tried, which isn't a whole lot. But in Costa Rica, I thought I'd experiment, and God, did they have really awesome cans for, like, everything. Now, the Shmirnoff down there was my favorite. Um, I think I just saw a billboard for these recently by my house, so I don't know that they're rare. Or that you can't get them here in America. I'm guessing you can because it's Smirnoff. But I thought it was really cool and I'm really glad I brought it back. Uh, especially since this one's all in Spanish. Except for, you know, the obvious Smirnoff and the descriptions on it. But, uh, this is basically the size of a Red Bull can. Um, it's 6.4% uh, volume alcohol. Um... Basically, what it tasted like was, like, orange juice, but with vodka. It, but it wasn't, like, bad vodka. Like, I, I've had straight vodka, and that stuff's just, uh... Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't like to drink. It's just I don't like the taste. But, uh, with this one, you couldn't really taste it. It kind of just tasted like a stronger orange juice, if you will. Um, like, it didn't taste like orange juice you'd get from your, like, freezer or, like... That kind of thing. More like a, um, uh, sun kiss? Sun, sun, something like that, you know? That kind of orange juice. Sorry, it's like 4 a.m. I just thought I'd pop this out because I'm an insomniac already. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, that's what it basically tasted like. It tasted like stronger sun kiss. Uh, it was really good. It was probably one of my favorites, and this was, like, the most guarded thing I had bringing back. I was like, alright, I have to wrap this in a bunch of socks, and what I ended up doing is I brought a guitar down with me in a hard shell case, and I brought my extra pair of really old Converse that I've had for two years that I, like, absolutely treasure because they're just, they were the only shoes I had at one time, and I just love them, and, uh... What I did was I took a shit ton of socks and I just wrapped them in socks and put them in the shoes. So not only did they get through customs just fine, uh, they got through security and they just got back into the state relatively unharmed. They did suffer a little damage, but really what can you expect going from continent to continent and then all the wear and tear we had with the layover in Houston. Oh god, there was a layover in Houston I didn't even tell you guys about. Another time, different story. Anyway. Yes, this was very, very good. I enjoyed it very much. If they were to sell these here and I were to be 21, I would absolutely stock up and just get drunk off these. Probably wouldn't get drunk because it would take, I'm guessing, a lot of these. But, um, yeah. So, I just thought these were really cool. I liked them. I have another one to show you guys. Um, but let me just do a little close-up here. It's got a really cool... Logo, and then it's got like the Smirnoff crest, uh, then whatever this is in Spanish, Recycle Bell. Oh, that's their sign, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, just a really neat little drink. I don't think it was much. So, I, I, I really take pride in this can. This is going to take top centerpiece on this guy once I built him back up. Uh, they were building steps by my house, and uh, it just completely crashed over where I had one of these. This one crashed too, so what I did was I put most of them back up, and I put tape up there so it wouldn't fall as they finished constructing our stairs. These fell too. I have so many just on the floor everywhere that I have to restock, which I'm going to get around to. But if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know how, I mean, uh, collection videos, you, you saw what I was going for, and now I have a lot of cans to do it with. Also, one thing I have is a bunch of spare cans. So, I'm probably going to end up throwing out like a shit ton of these amps. Just because I don't need like 24,000 amps taking up space. And they kind of just look blah. 
they're cool if you've got the entire set, but just like a bunch of those by themselves kind of suck. Anyway, I'm rambling on. It's late. You guys get the point. Smirnoff Triple Distilled Premium Vodka Mixed Drink Expertly Mixed with Sparkling Orange. Thanks for watching. This has been the third installment of the six videos. I can't hold up six fingers simultaneously, so we're going to do three, three out of three. Three out of the three out of the three. So, ha. <laughs> Fuck your double negative. Wasn't even a double negative. Might have been. I don't know. I'm tired. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch up with you later.